Hey, Sis Chan. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone's watching because uh, I haven't posted any videos in a while, almost a couple of months, I think. Um, so I'm not sure if anyone's watching, but uh, even if no one is, it's okay. I haven't been able to... Well, I didn't want to make a video for a long time just because I was so emotional. I still am, but I just thought I would try. I'm <laughs> going to try not to cry, but I think it's going to be impossible. Um, Hummel passed away on June 5th, so it's been about a few weeks now, three weeks now. So, sorry. I just, I'm trying not to cry, but it's just, you know, if I talk about him, it's just really difficult for me. So, yeah, he passed away, and so it's just, I really haven't felt like doing anything at all. So, in this video, it's not going to be that cheerful, but, um, you know, I just, I kind of, I know that a lot of people have been through this as well, or might be going through it now, so, you know, I just think, it it doesn't hurt to i guess just not feel like we're in it alone you know what i mean so um that's why i thought i would make a video today even though part of me was just like i can't do it yet you know i just kind of didn't think that i could really make videos yet but you know i don't think it's ever gonna get any easier so i'm just gonna try <laughs> um so today i just thought i would share with you what i'm using this uh my A6 Hobonichi for before I was using this one for um, recording Hummel's medication times and like stuff about how he was doing, you know. And uh, since he passed away, I just I just wanted to do something to try to cope because I don't know. I mean, everybody copes with grief in different ways, right? Um, I've just not. I haven't. I've had a really hard time with it, so. Um, I've been writing him letters in this Hobonichi every day. So I write to him every day and I still talk to him every day. You know, I talk to him like I always have, you know, um, cause I just, I don't want to just stop, you know what I mean? So I thought I would just decorate, um, a couple of pages with you. I'm not gonna, you know, write his letter on camera or anything cause it's too personal, but, um, I just thought I would decorate with you. Okay, so let's get started. This is a cute little plush house. <laughs> I got this just because I thought it was adorable. And um, it's a Sumiko Garashi house and it, it fits some things nicely. So this is super cute. <laughs> All right, so a lot, a lot of days I write more than one page to him. So you can see that I'm now into the August pages. So I'm just gonna, um, <laughs> and his hair is here. Like his hair is still on everything. And I just, I love, <laughs> I honestly love seeing his hairs on stuff. Like I just want to keep them all, you know what I mean? What I wanted to do was, I wanted to use some of these Smiku Grashi stickers. I have a bunch of these really cute uh, sticker books from Japan, and I've bought some of these on Etsy, and then I got a few of them on Amazon Japan as well. So um, they're really, really cute. I love them. And uh, I shared this in another video. I showed these, I, I don't know if I showed them all, but I showed these pages with the cute cats. <laughs> So all the different Sumiko Garashi characters are dressed up as cats, which I just think is absolutely adorable, right? So um, I wanted to use some of these stickers on these pages. And I wanted to also attach a postcard because that would give me some more room to write. So um, the back of them has, the back of these sticker books have a couple of postcards for you, which I think is so cute, right? So there's this one here. I just love this one because this one has like the house design, you know? So there's a different... Sumiko Gashi characters in their little rooms, <laughs> which I think is so adorable. Okay, so I want to use that one. And I was thinking of attaching it here, but I want to attach it with a piece of washi tape so that I can open it and then write more, you know? So I'm going to start with some washi tape, just to decorate the edge. I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use, but I think I, think I want to go with blue. I'm just going to put some at the bottom. Okay, so now the washi tape is attached to the bottom here, and I'm going to stick on this postcard, and I'm just going to put a piece of this washi tape along the edge, the right edge. Let's see if I can do this evenly. All 
Okay, so now that that's on the edge there, I'm going to try to stick this on straight. It's probably a better way to do this, but this is the way I do it anyway. So now there's some space to write more, because <laughs> I usually write quite a lot from him. So I usually cover the date with a sticker, and I think I want to use this one here. It's cute. It's so cute. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just going to use these um, alphabet stickers to spell out the, the date. Uh, these are from October afternoon. I've just had these for quite some time, but I really I love the the font is cute and they're nice and small, so I can. Smell out a bunch of things if I like. Okay, so I'm just going to add some more stickers to decorate. And I wanted to add this one here where they're sitting in a box. This is so cute. <laughs> That's so sweet, eh? Honestly, cute things just cheer me up so much, you know? At first I kind of thought, like, I wouldn't be able to use my cat stickers for a while because I just thought, I was, you know, I'd just be too sad to. But, you know, when I look at these characters, they make me smile, so... Let's see here... These little guys here... <laughs> A little... All stacked up on top of each other. Okay, so I've got some space to write here, right? And then I've got more space in here to write. And I was thinking of adding a picture of us to this postcard here. I've um, got this picture here. Yes. There's my little guy. Um, he melts my heart so much. I love him. Honestly, I really hate getting my picture taken so much. Like, I just, I, I really, I hate getting my picture taken. But with Humble, I was always really glad to get my picture taken with Humble because uh, I just love him, you know. So he was always my exception, you know. So I think maybe I could put a picture of us here, but if I use this picture, I would need to crop the sides because the picture is a little bit wider than the postcard. Uh, I was thinking it would be nice to include a photo. So I got this really cute Pom Pom Hearing album and I got all these cute die cuts and stickers in this. This one here that says, You are my sunshine. <laughs> I always uh, sing this to Humble, so... Anything that says, You are my sunshine, I just love. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking... I could put, let's say I crop the picture and put the picture here, then I can put this here, you know? And maybe put a little cat on the side. <laughs> That'd be cute, eh, to put a little cat here. Okay, so I've decided to use this sticker here with the uh, little cat, and he's looking at his cat costume. <laughs> Even the cat is dressed in a cat costume, I just think that's so adorable, eh? Okay, so to cover up the date here, I'm going to put this little sticker on there. The cat wearing his cat costume and he's in a paper bag because <laughs> Humble loves paper bags or you really love paper bags and here's this cute little sticker here where they're sitting at a table together and then this little guy's crawling underneath the table <laughs> that's so adorable right here I'm going to use this sticker with the cute little cat he's waving Okay, so I found this cute little sticker in the Pom Pom Purin album here. It says, me and you. And I was thinking, once I crop this picture and stick this picture in, I'm going to put this right here. It's very nicely, I think, and goes well with the colors. And before, I added this little label sticker with the Sumiko Garashi characters, and I could write the, the date that I took this picture of us. Okay, I really wanted to add this sticker here. This little cat and then the little dust ball characters, they're dressed up as mice. <laughs> this is really cute, eh? So I wanted to add this one, and I think I'm just going to put them here. Because usually when I write these letters to Humble, I I just write around, you know, just write around the stickers. Okay, so there's something else I want to talk about before I go. Um, back in January, I did a de-stash sale with um, some washi tape, and I sold... I'm pretty sure it was $46 worth of washi tape. And I promised to donate half of 
the amount and then I said that I was going to make more de-stash videos to try to sell more things and raise more money to help animals, right? And then I just, I never did it. So I just wanted to, I just want to explain. I just, it's been, this year has been so rough that I just, I never, I could just never, I can never get it together basically, right? And I do apologize for that because I don't want to just say I'm raising money for animals and then not give the money, right? Because I just, I felt so bad about that. And I kept thinking like, okay, next week I'll make the D-Stash videos or next week or two weeks from now or two weeks from now. You know, like I just, I was really annoying <laughs> about it because I just kept pushing it further and further back. You know what I mean? So I just don't want you guys to think I just took the money and didn't want to do anything. So I, um, I decided that because I said I was going to donate half of the money, right? And I wanted... See, the thing is, I wanted to make more D-Stash videos and then raise more money and then donate the money at the same time. You know what I mean? That's that's why I kept putting it off. Like, I kept thinking that I was going to make more videos and then hopefully sell more and then I could donate a larger amount. So I just kept thinking that's what I was going to do. But then now it's June, right? So it's... I mean, it's been so long since I did that... Um, the first D-Stash sale video. And I just think it's just... It's not cool for me to just take this long, right? So what I did was, in May, I donated, instead of donating half of $46, I just, I rounded it up to 50 bucks. I just, uh, you know, because I just felt so bad, right? So I was just like, okay, so I'm just going to donate the whole amount, but then instead of donating 46 I might as well just donate 50 right? So I donated the money to um, Rolling Dog Farm. So in case you haven't heard of Rolling Dog Farm before, um, it's a place, a very special place uh, that was founded by Steve Smith and Elaine Marker, they're a couple, and they take care of disabled animals. And some of these animals have been through like, unspeakable abuse and they really they take care of these animals like family and they live in the house together you know so it's really it's a very special place and i just i've been following their blog for years now and we've donated to them a bunch of times before just because what they do is so special you know like they really they go to great lengths to take care of these animals um they've even restored uh vision for some of these animals so i mean they are really they're really dedicated to them so that's why i wanted the money to go to them and usually when i donate to rolling dog farm i donated this money on uh, yeah, on may 30th um and usually when i when i donate money i put something about humble in the dedication like i say it's from him you know like not from me it's from him right so i put humble's gift in memory of sweet darla um, because darla is one of their dogs and she passed away in march this past March and this is Darla here she's so precious um they restored her vision so I mean they I mean I just think that's so incredible I mean if you, if you can imagine what that would be like for an animal I just can't I can't even wrap my brain around how amazing that would be you know so we love Darla and it's just so sad to hear that she passed away she's she went through a lot of health problems so and they they took such great care of her so um that's why I wanted this donation to be from Humble in memory of Darla, you know? So I just want to tell you guys about that because I feel really bad that it took so long to do this and if I ever get around to doing the D-Stash videos again, then I will certainly not take this long. Alright, so there you have it. There's my uh, video for today. I'm actually, I feel like I'm just kind of rusty at this, you know, I haven't done, I haven't made a video in quite some time, so it's just, it's kind of weird to get back into it, but I just want to say thanks for watching and if you're still watching all the way to the very end, I really appreciate that. Thank you. And hopefully I'll catch you next time. All right. Bye.